so I back, by the way. I was like, make sure you're on directed camera. Bottom left. And then press. Do you think A would be better? Or do you think it's better to have the. Huh? When you press A and it switches like the. Do you think it's better to have the. Just have all. Just have just have all. Okay. There's a three minute delay, it's not it's nothing bad. Ooh. I like the I like the early game prep work from Grand Island here. Making sure no invades happening, especially with no mid lane. Wait. Getting behind it a little bit. If you hold tab if you hold tab you can actually see their their Nico is actually just gonna just gonna go mid. Oh I mean or switch? I mean, I feel like it'd be better if you switch. Because Nico cannot lane against by Minions himself. Have spawned. Yeah. But Kaelin, Kaelin wouldn't be any better. That is I'm a bit, I'm a bit cool. disappointed they're not they're not going for a cheese bush right now. I'm not going to lie. Against this lane. But I believe that Kaelin would do better in bot lane by herself. Just because her range will allow her to see S just a little bit better than Nico could. It was just a tough situation for Grand Island. What the? This ward is moving on its own. Bro, an extra ward. Nah, uh, I feel like they should have. It would have been really good because there's only one laner. Okay. Ooh. Jax misses his E. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a really bad Counter Strike. It was kind of weird bringing E first level. Yeah. But we'll see where he's coming and taking this. I mean, if Jax is good, he can he can E Garen Q. Counter Strike Garen's Q. And he missed a minion. Alright, <sighs> strap in for a long game, boys. I mean, in the bot lane, Nico's just being pushed back at the air tower. It's not much you can care. He looks like he was right. Keelan is going mid. Trying to land. I mean, it is good to stop this Vagar from. What's it called? Infinitely scaling. Yeah. You know, it's it's pretty smart by Grand Island to do that. Yeah. I assume that wasn't their original plan. I assume it's just they didn't want to. They saw that the Vagar got picked last. So they're like, oh, we have to. Do this. So... Mm. I mean, Nico's Vagar started and... tier. Um, uh, I mean that's I think in... good. I'll sustain with Caitlyn. Yeah, in this situation, I'm a I'm a bit of a fan. Normally, I'd be a little bit off put by it, but it could work better out here. Okay. So, That's the problem is Jax is pushing in, but he has less he has. Yeah, I was gonna. I and was then gonna he missed the minion. <laughs> yeah, SCT2 both of them have that CS advantage. Good. Oh, there Good he trade there by Jax. Oh, just, nice he did that right. Idea. You stun, you stun him well, and then walk out of the Garen E. Right Ooh, now. it's gonna be. Can coming in from Kanye here. Kanye does not win this one v one against Kaiser. I think they're just gonna back off here. They could have killed Kanye. I think they could have just killed Kanye. Garen did head down straight towards me there. Yeah. Level advantage in Cheetah Lancer right now. Along with CS advantage, 23 to 9. God. It's a little bit of a mirror to the bot lane, 24 to 9, but it's set in favor of SCC T2. I think in this situation, Fresh should, Fresh should buy Moby boots and then just firm a realm. It's actually a 2k gold difference right now. Or 1k, I guess. One and a half. It's interesting to see that Kaylin's not taking advantage of her damage early game. Yeah, her, she should be able to outrange Viegar. I think she's just scared to walk up and get hit because... I mean, he's not doing a lot of damage right now. But on first back, they should... Ooh! Yeah, Ooh! Yeah, there it go. Oh nice no. Cool. Coming in from Kane. Ooh, there's a heal. Ignite drop down flash from Nico. Two yeah, simultaneous plays by Sasu. 
especially in this early game where Vega is not as strong as he can be. Right now, Caitlyn's just letting him get free stacks. Yep. Meanwhile, Jax is half of Garen CS. Still permanently pushed in. I like the fact that Jax brought TP here, though. Oh, oh, he needs to run out. There you go. I mean, with the two we wanted in a bot lane, bot lane's in a peculiar situation where they want to keep, like, they don't want to back it. I should they're, just... they're doing the opposite right now, really. Because Nico's kind of freezing the wave in front of her tower. They should be able to just get every dragon here. But... Yeah, it's a surprise that they haven't gone for it yet. Ooh. Is it a solo bolo? Don't go back in. And he went back in. Misses the E, unfortunately. Yeah. Jax is in a pretty bad spot. I think, I think he needs to, like, beg Kane here for a gank. And that's the best course of action. It's like Caitlyn is pushing up against this Vagar, but it might just be too late. Yeah, Vagar's 20 CS up on her. A lot of stacks, a lot of gold that tier is building up. Kane's looking for a gank on the top. I think he spots out Mordekaiser here. It's just peaceful farming. Pretty really uneventful game for a 4v5. But yeah. it is only the first six minutes. I mean, Sasu, Sasu have three far like three champions that are meant to scale. Nico's trying to do, but accidentally pushes. Now she can't push up. She's gonna lose a lot of C there. My guys is just gonna. Do they see him taking void grubs? Yeah. I think Kane should have just, like, the second they saw him on Void Grubs, he should have just ran to the dragon. I don't think there's any point in contesting this, especially if your top laner is getting a bit gapped like this. Ooh, Viagra's running up though. It might not actually be bad. Ooh, he steals one. I think the team fight's gonna break loose here. Ooh, first blood handed over to Vagar. That's not bad. And Salasu walk away with two Void Grubs and a kill. Honestly, that's not bad. Situation for Caitlyn, though. Oh yeah. Already behind. And they're just gonna let Garen take that control ward. Minus 75 gold. Let's okay, go. Let's go. Nico still has yet to back. Uh, oh. Back I think Caitlyn's gonna die here. Oh my goodness. Flashes a little bit late there, but survives. Just by the skin of her teeth. Meanwhile, it looks like Jack is turning a little bit of a from being pushed in. Fighting this. Just trying to get a little trade off. Hope he does not forget that he does, in fact, have mana. <laughs> so he can't just yeah. keep spamming his abilities. Yeah, no, Jax is in a pretty poor situation here. He's 20 CS down. Down. It's still 3k gold lead for Sao Su. They're, they're getting this dragon here. Yeah, I don't think Mordekaiser can contest here. This is what Sao Su should be doing. They should just be focusing down every dragon they can. Especially with both of them when they're falling pushed in right now. They're still backing. Possibly yep. the worst time. Okay. Okay, I wish I. Oh no, why did you auto it? I really wish I didn't have to watch this Jax game play yeah, at the moment. Interesting. <laughs> oh wow. Calvin's here to shoutcast, I'm just here to to analyze things. You just here to make fun of people. Calvin's here for play by play, I'm here for color. I think that's the uh that's the professional way to say it. <sighs> oh, Running straight on the tower. Oh, oh, wow. Able to get that kill. Mr. Lonely did lose a flash as well. Mr. Blunder over there. Nico Blake wow. has some damage, actually. Seems like Fallen is forgetting that she is a mage with a lot of damage. 
Veigar is playing this perfectly, just keeping this Caitlyn at arm's length. Still not abu abusing her range. Veigar, 76 Dax at 10 minutes. Um, I mean, she has, he, he has 77 CS, so it's not terrible. I think Nico is missing. Yeah. Ooh, Mordekaiser does have his first item. While Kane is still working on his. Oh. Trying to bait this Garen into a fight. Ooh, that's not bad. Damage is being laid down. Garen is running away trying to survive. Here comes the There's Kane ult. Oh, he Garen gets out. Flash to escape. Wow. Nice little bait coming in from Mr. Lonely there. Yeah, it wasn't a bad setup. Mr. Lonely should get this free wave here. And Garen doesn't have TP. Still runs Garen pretty fast. Trying to get that kill. Whoa! Oh, 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 there oh. it is. Electrocute coming in to finish Kaylin off. I think it's the storm exactly. surge there. Was it the storm surge there? Yep. After two seconds strike the target, um, dealing 136 magic damage. If the target dies before the strike, it detonates immediately. Basically, it's a free execute for um, Mage. For AP champions. Vagar is a bit of a problem. He has both kills on the side of Sasu. And they're here for this Void Grubs. I'm not sure if Mr. Lonely. Oh, that's two CCs. I think Garen should be able to die here. Oh. Ooh. Get the bolts off on Vagar. Garen able to kill Jax. Kane finishes him off. Mordekaiser in the realm does shut down. This is shut down. Huge ults coming in from Nico. Fight flash. Oh, it's Nico a fight everywhere around the map. And Kaisa just finishes it off. Nice little W. Do a three platings up in Bob side right now. This Garen is just a bit of a problem. I think. I think they should have just stopped chasing the Garen there and, and turned back around the Mordekaiser, but... Mordekaiser had ulti Vagar to go for this, but he was going to Yeah. Well, it was a little bit unfortunate there, but... Oh, Jax TPing, I think... Coming in from Jax. This is a misplay. Oh, no, it's coming from Vagar. Oh, it's Vagar. Oh, coming from Mr. Lonely as well. Two TPs coming in. Um, no, we're, we're, we're watching from, like, kill. directed camera. She's just gonna flash away, yeah. They need to. They need to shove. Yeah. And Dragon's gonna spawn in just a couple seconds. Really, if Fallen's gonna be permanently pushed up, it's like game heaven for them, especially with I think Mordekaiser is playing this right. He just needs to sacrifice. Bottom mid, kind of, and just play around the top side. I mean, Garen is one of the easiest champions to carry on. Late game, if Kaisa positions badly, Garen just presses Q, E, and then R, and it's game over. Just... Oh wow! And he's going back in. For some reason, trying to get some trade off, I guess, but fortunately, did not go in his favor. Isa Thresh is starting to become a problem now. Top What's the objective bounce coming in? Start roaming now. 8k gold lead at 14 minutes. But it is a 5v4. Yeah, Kenichi solos you goes red cane, but he bought Yomu's first item. I had to go some miss, miss by. No, no by. Stop this here <laughs> taking this tower. Yeah, there it goes. No, I... Kaisa now in miss lane. They took that first boss tower and now they're just the roam. Keeping Thresh down there to make sure that Nico is able to catch up as well. Yeah, no, they sh definitely should have just sent Thresh to go roam instead of Kaisa. I believe they just wanted to see that mid tower open up the map more. But yeah, there's a CP coming from Caitlyn to the second tier tower instead of walking. South Sea are just gonna start this dragon. They don't know they're sitting on a ward. I, I mean, I think at this point, 
Oh, Grand Island and Walking Ward in. Ward what? Also, oh, did not know he was sitting in a ward. Gets caught off by wow. Dexter, dude. Why can't you do this when we play our games? Jax having to flash, flash away from the Jax. Un weirdly, his ward was up along with his little hop. I don't think a flash was needed there. Sorry, he's just trying not to feed this Garen any further. That was a very nice hook there by the Thresh. Nah, um, I don't know if he was on a Ooh. He was trying to make a play happen there, but he was in max range. Plus, he was not able to catch. Okay. Some of us need to aim better. Could have been playing as I but he was having the second like, like, second bottom. But with this map open up this much, lane's still just being pushed in. It might not even be worth it at this point, especially since they haven't even gotten the arrow yet. Yeah. They really need to open up that top lane tower just to put some pressure on Ooh. Nico. They've been baited into a fight here. Oh, he walked scary. back into the Nico ult. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Shut down on that ignite, trying to save. That was such a I misplay by the Kai'Sa there. She walked back into the Nico ult and got CC. She could have just, just kept walking out of it. It was a nice little play from Nico though. Getting that yeah, another extra kill. No, the game, the, that fight was definitely winnable though. I mean, Kai'Sa has lethal tempo. She could have just kited Dalgaran there. But... Good peel from Jax. How to secure the Rift Herald. That's a 3v2. Oh. Kane might be getting jumped here. He's gonna walk away. Jax wants to get some revenge. He's gonna go back in. I don't think the rest of his team is ready for it. Kane unfortunately misses. Kaisa's oh now in the top lane, trying to get this top tower now. Just SS and T2 are playing this perfectly. Just, they know they have the numbers advantage, they know they have that huge snowball lead. They're just trying to open up the map now. No one's gonna talk about that cannon cart. Uh, oh, and the Oh, and the melee minion. It's like they're starting to surround oh. Garen. Shield Blitzer might be in danger, but he's not going down about a fight. Just running straight at Kaisa. Where are we walking? Jack stun and does avoid it. Unfortunately, he's just running around in circles, not even attacking. Still yeah, he's trying, trying to bait Kaisa back in. And okay. Yeah, and <laughs> able to get the kill, but wow. It's eventually shut down. They went from DV and Swordfish Kaisa to post for 69 Kaisa, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no reason for him to be right clicking anywhere near Garen there. He was out free. Catch up on CS, trying to do anything he can to stay in the game. Kaylin, unfortunately, just. I think at this point, she's out of the game. There's not. Unless she can get two items in the next 10 minutes, she might just be out. Oh, wow, look at Garen's KDA. Vegar, Vegar's on the hunt. Oh, flash oh, straight into the, cage. into the cage. And there's the oh. ult with the storm surge. A misplay coming from Nico there. This Vegar might be a bit of a problem. Vegar, just the snowball continuing. 6 1. Oh. Garen trying to thirst for this tower. For this tower. Yeah, yeah. he just gets chunked instead. Another problem with this lane and bot lane being opened up right now. Nico's just caught out, having to use everything he can to try and escape, but it wasn't enough. Too much space. To Dash is about a 1v1, the Mordekaiser here. Hughes is not too. The yeah, fact that no one on the side of South Seas picked up this blue buff is making me mad. And it's gone. It's like the people who are getting ready for this Drake fight. Dropping. 
Oh, look at this rift herald. Oh, there it is. Pain drops herald. Actually lands it. Oh, oh he got caught. There it is. He gets domain expanded on. Is there anywhere for him to run? As long as possible. Here's the look ult. at the ult. Barely escaping death. Wow, he's he gets out, out scot free. Mordekaiser are having to ghost away, knowing he's surrounded by SCT2. Having to give up this Drake now. Maybe a little bit of a misplay coming in from Mordekaiser there, ulting. Yeah, no, I think Kenichi Solo has just outplayed him there. I mean, he had the domain expansion, but Kenichi Solo has had the simple domain. Harold was also able to land on that tower right there. Doing as much damage as it could have. Now they have to do Drake here. This is good. All you all you really need is is Kaisa and um, Kane hitting. They should they could have just wait for the Mordekaiser to walk up, but they're gonna burn it fast. Seth gets the objective bounty on the top side. I think I think Sao Su are lost. I mean like there's no way there's no way they win now. Seth got an objective bounty. Oh, the Mordekaiser gets caught out so hard here. Also gets caught out oh to my! The hero play. It's a double kill on the side of the Kaisa. Kaisa now becoming a problem for them. Grand Island. They are just oh. stopping this Garen from pushing up even further, doing peanuts for damage. Yeah, one of the good things oh, about a flash engage from Garen, having to force the flash out from Vigar as well. Meanwhile, SCT2 are just sieging Grand Island's base. Are they just gonna win here? Up. I don't, I'm not sure they can end here though. I mean, as long as they keep their wave alive, I don't think there's anyone that can contest unless Garen is able to back. But no, he's just greeting for this kill. Mordekaiser respawns. I think Vieira is just gonna end here. He barely makes it out alive. Thresha glance. This could be game for South Sioux if they don't run it down. Jax Ooh, dies. Jax dies. Fortunately, I think that's, that's the end of the siege. Yeah, they're gonna have to I might have cast here. cursed it. I said they win here if no one wins. And I mean, then Jax just Vigar eats 12 tower shots. Very good. Garen was really one of the only people who could stop that siege. And he was just keeping a top lane. They were able to take that inhib and that Nexus tower. Garen, though, not giving up this chase. He wants revenge. They could turn. Not sure. They could just turn. Yeah, Hook would have been massive. To fight here. Just wanted to wait more. They're gonna give him 30 gold here. because they felt like it. They're setting up for a Baron fight. Or no, I, do, I believe Baron Island thinks that it's, they're going for Baron right now, but they're just It's a 12k gold, gold lead, I mean. Really, the, the only thing that's gonna stop Sasu from winning is if they, like, misplay super hard. I, I, I mean, I've seen uh, people come back from this. Yeah. Just with the, the item disadvantage that Grand Island have so far with um, Kaelin and Nico, just makes it so that Garen and Morkaz are basically the only players on their team. They really, yeah, they really should just be flying around these characters, but they just keep getting caught out. Um, yeah. They and should just, they should just be forcing team fights. Precious build here is Garen actually pretty good. Are they just gonna start this? Oh, there's control ward, deny vision. I think they're just gonna get this Baron for free. No, coach, I'm just, I'm just making fun of them. <laughs> Thank you, coach. Holy crap! That's Baron secured. Do we have legal rights to say Red Bull Power Play? There's a Red Bull fridge sitting at like five feet from me. Something. The rest of the team just trying to hold off on the siege. Yeah. They just he need knows. to buy time for Garen to come back. Where is that Kaisa W aimed at? <laughs> uh, Kaisa just. He's just trying to scare them. He was just facing W. Oh, yeah. Garen's back here. I'm not sure if they want to do this 4v4 without Jax. Jax is really far behind, but he had, gives so much value with that E. He's just going to get that top tower. Yeah, no, Sasu can probably get the next tower too. Start a fight there instead of having it be in their base. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Red team's turret has been destroyed. You're gonna try and draw Grand Island out here. Grand Island's not gonna take the bait, splitting their team up. Splitting one of their damage to mid lane for some reason. 
Mordekaiser is just running straight into that cage, not really caring. Uh, Looks like Jax does spot off his hate though. That's yeah. Good kill him. Yeah, Souls coming up in about a minute here. Sasu, they have a lot of options here to there keep on scaling. He is able to escape from the jack stun, flashes away from the knock up from Red Game. Yeah, no, they should just let him go, let Kaelin go free here. Sasu, they, they won our early game, even if they throw mid mid game like Jax is gonna keep scaling, Vagar is gonna keep scaling, Kaisa on three items is just gonna be unstoppable. But it's just an unfortunate situation situation for Grand Island. Kaylin just bought Noon Quiver. Um that's that's the ocean soul. Sasu looking for a clean sweep. Yeah, a big problem here. Letting this, I think letting this Vagar scale this hard was just yeah, one no. of the biggest mistakes. I think giving up that bot lane was okay, just leaving Caitlyn there to fend for herself, but Delphi should have put some more attention on that mid lane. Fortunately, Caitlyn was just like pushing up that wave, allowing Vagar to just farm freely, farm his stacks, and then get those kills. The guys are just being counter jungled right now. Just being forced to clear waves to get his gold. <laughs> I love hearing them in the background. It's actually hilarious. Oh, oh <laughs> what a play! <laughs> this times it. Oh my goodness. Really nice coming in from SSC T2 there. Top lane of the year. What the Kaiser once again just being forced to stuck on base defense. Can't do like can't two, even farm. Yeah, it's two one two coming in from Sao Su. They need to just focus on getting the tower instead of poking out this Caitlyn here. Oh flash ulting on this Vagar. Misplayed his ult. Kanye is doing a little bit of a 2v1 here. I think Jax is coming down. Nico's just one tap here. Mordekaiser doesn't have his ult. Oh. He's just gonna ghost away here. Jax flashes in right and gets a grand whopping total of nothing. Flashes in without his E or his QW up. Nice little flash hook <laughs> coming in for Thresh. Kills the Kaelin tower down. That's just gonna open up bot lane. I think yeah, Sao should turn their attention. Right now. What I'm scared is that I can still hear them talking in the background. How have you not ended this game yet, by the way? They just haven't gathered up. They're just trying to take all these towers, I suppose. Yeah, they're slowly choking out Grand Island, but I think... I think at this point, they should just run it down mid. They win every team fight. Yeah, in a situation like this, one team fight is really all it takes to win. But... I, the only thing I can only imagine is that they're drawing out this game for greed. Ego. Yep, the reigning champions. Replaced four members of last year's squad. Only one player remains. He roll swaps. And they're just seemingly as dominant as before. They're actually nothing there. Well, it is a 4v5. Yeah, let's give Red Island the benefit of the doubt here. A couple misplays. I think it was unfortunate they're comp. They weren't putting that big guard in. They put someone up on the ocean. Granada is starting to do damage, starting to scare SSC a little bit. Back and it might be just getting ready to get the Baron for another last minute seed. Oh. Scaring him, stopping the back, keeping him I out think of Vegar the is a bit stuck here. Oh, oh. <laughs> TP! Unaware that any form of CC stops TP. Sasu <laughs> is just running no, away. Sasu got, Sasu got caught out of position so hard. I'm not sure. Garen. Oh is my goodness. Plays right now. Oh my it's goodness. Shutdown after shutdown. Nice little. Dude, there. Garen is now gonna be a huge problem. A little oh misplay from Vagar there. Probably misunderstanding how the TP works. 
Salsugo here comes the airplane and spoon feed Grand Island two shutdowns. Granted, they weren't 700 gold, so it's not terribly bad, but still 800 gold for free. Uh, they still have a 7, or 13k lead, 17k lead in gold. So it's not too bad, but Garen just I mean, that's... trying to get this tower. Oh, fuck. Bro, okay, wait, wait. Wait, 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 actually, wait. I think that's Riot. I think that's on Riot. How does that not? Wait, I, the hook goes straight through Garen there. TP coming in from Jax. For I can't seemingly tell. no reason, Kane was right there. Might have to replay that hook just, just to see what yeah, happened there. I think we're going to have to go back and watch. Actually, oh. how did that miss? <laughs> Point blank. Point blank hook misses. Here's the Baron. Baron? Yes, yeah, you have enough control. I mean, looking at the minimap, there's one ward on Grand Island side and it's in their jungle or in their base. Yeah, they, they can't even walk out their own jungle, Garen. Yeah. Yeah. They took the wave. Garen's gonna have to try to clear this out, but he might be drawn into a. Um. It might. Garen might be a little bit in trouble here. Nope. He's just able to spin away. Oh wait, guys! I think Kaisa W just landed on a scent. Oh, let's go! Garen just it went through CP online. Trying to do as much damage as he can. He's keep drinking. Oh, Galen Ult does no damage. Tickles him a little bit. And Kanishi is just gonna stuck keep on, his own. on going. Ghosting just gonna run back wrong into side of the map. And they're just gonna let him walk away. Kane still here. Vortizer misses his pull. Kane's just able to do a lot of damage, taking a lot of towers right now. Kaylin able to get that last headshot kill off. Boom comes oh, the new Vegar. They get all. They're just gonna CC to stun this Garen. Do all he can. I think this is the end of this is the end of the game. Sasu get two the picks. Entire team dead. Nico and Karen all on their own. Can they do anything but reaches no one? Q not enough damage. Karen spinning as fast as he can, but cannot get it. There it is. SCT2 have beaten Van Island. The reigning champions are back. Is the stream is the stream